Okay. I know if you know who this is, then you'll probably be yelling at me that you said that you talk about Transformers, you review, you review Transformers, but, and I always thought that about this figure, is I found him in a bag, and I was like, I probably won't touch him, but one day, I was bored, I pulled him out, transformed him, looked at him, thought about GoBots for a while, looked, played around with a couple of other GoBots that I had, and I was hooked. I was hooked with Transformers, competitor of the 80s and today we are going to be looking at Psykill. I think the villain of GoBots don't quote me on that because I have not watched the show I am not into GoBots but after playing with this figure and the and other GoBot figures that I have don't know their names this is the only one I know <laughs> the name of um but if you can find him if you can find him just like this, no box, no gun, get him because he is fun. And I will show you. Um, he has rubber tires. Of course, he's a motorcycle. Um, he rolls. He doesn't have a kickstand like Rekgar, the G1 Rekgar. Um, so he can't uh, really stand up. Just falls down. I guess you could position him like I did. But... Um, well, let's just get into it, cause for what this vehicle, for the, what this motorcycle mode is, it eh, there isn't too much. Not saying that there that it's lackluster, but there isn't too much. Now I do see these ports, so I don't know if there was a kickstand. I don't know if there was a kickstand um, to him. Because I do not know. All I know is that he came with a gun, I think. Still, don't quote me on that because I don't know very... I know basically nothing about GoBots. Um, but either way, let's just jump in. So, this is Psykill. Um, um, let's... Uh, to transform him, I like to pull his legs out just a slight bit and then you just pull them out. There's a ratchet right there and ratchet right there. Nice uh, soft ratchet right there for the hip. And nice clickety-clackety ratchet for the knee. Then you do that. And now you're going to come up here and you just wiggle that apart. And now you pull that out. Same thing on this side. And now you can stand him up. And you flip this wheel in. Bring that wheel out. Flip it in. And... Now, you pull all of this out, and then you swing all of that around, and now the arms will get in the way. I like to bring that arm, whichever arm down, so you give that clearance to swing it all the way around. And then you just push that in, straighten his arms. Well, I like to have it, have their arms like that, hit most of my characters with their arms like this. And they're psychic. I cannot tell you how many times I've just sat there, sat in, sat in the chair, and transformed him. Because he is... It's fun. I can't tell you. Even though it is so simple, um, it is super, super fun. And just, like, just to show you how I like to transform, uh, bring this all the way around, because you can't do that same technique, I think you, you might be able to. Um, but what I like to do, obviously, you pull that out. I like to straighten out whichever arm I'm going to go around. I like to straighten out this arm. And then I like to keep it like that. And then it'll go over like so. It'll go over. Go over some more. Straighten it out. And then it can't go any further because his arm's in the way. And then I like to do make him uh, point his arm up like that. Bring it around. And then it's already in the position where you just push it in. So I think I find that the easiest when I'm going into his motorcycle mode. So that's, that's how I see it's the easiest for me to go from his robot mode to motor, motorcycle mode uh, is to do it that way. 
not saying that you have to, just that's how I see uh, it's the easiest. So articulation wise, nothing in the head because it's this is all his whole torso. I think other than the part that swivels around that connects this to uh, his die cast. Uh, nice soft ratchet right here for the for the shoulder, full 360. I guess you could classify this as something. I, I don't know. Um, like I showed you, 90 degrees of bend at the hip and then 90 degrees at the knee. Um, so that's really it. And of course, and I guess in these pieces, these like mufflers, um, I guess, and those are like heel spurs, or at least that's how I can see them as being. The knees on mine are a little weak. Not as, like, stiff. And, um, the one bad thing about this guy is that he has a massive backpack. Good thing that he has those heel spurs, this big block on his hip, and, su and ratchets in his knees. Or else he would probably fall over for being a 30, getting on the 40-year-old toy. He would definitely fall over for how big this backpack is. Not saying that it's it's not saying that it's heavy. Definitely it's heavy, but probably not as heavy as the torso due to it being a die cast. But definitely it's good that they engineered it that way. Engineered these legs that way. Um and I a neat little fan well, a neat little thing that I like to do with him just to play around with him. I like to bring this wheel down and put him in a sitting position, angle that down just a little bit. And now since that is just plastic, he rolls around sitting. Obviously since it's plastic on what a table or whatever, it squeaks. But um, I, I just think it's so funny. If you want him to sit down, you can just make him do that. If you want him to have like some sort of like robot, robot mode uh, transportation way, I don't know. Since he transforms into a motorcycle, you can make him do that, and I just find that cool and funny. I don't know. Not saying that's my my that's my own idea. That might someone might have already discovered that. Just I like to do that. Because it's just funny and fun. So that is basically it for Psykill. Um, that, um, that's basically it. Because I don't know anything about GoBots. All I know is that this is a really fun toy. Um, and he looks really nice to display. So if you're going to display him, display him. And if and he's really fun to play with. Sit down, transform him. Because he's super simple, super fun. And I think that's it. So that is trans. Oh, sorry. That is GoBots, not Transformers, GoBots, um, Psykill. So, until next time, see ya.